Yo, what's up, guys? It is me, Double D, right here on your TV, PC. Oh, shit, I actually reverse those. What? Whatever you're watching on. I don't know. Yeah, I actually never know. Let's go. Yeah, that was really quick, like, let's go. So, guys, today we're going to do something fun that we already did. You guys saw it in the title, so you already know what this video is going to be about. So, yeah. So, today... We're gonna talk about, or no, we're not gonna talk, we're gonna read. I'm gonna read, uh, today I'm gonna read a story about Gray, Sin Doyle, and Ethan Doyle. I have no idea who these guys are, but they're twins. Get out. They're on YouTube. Get out. They're not the only twins. You got the Martinez twins. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, the only thing that I know is they're brothers. Really, nigga? And they have the same channel. Talking about brothers and channel. Who is the little brother? Really, nigga? Okay. Check this out. I actually went on both of their channels and I looked at the total views. Who is the little brother now? Yo, I'm not a fan of Jake Paul, not at all, you know? And I don't hate the guy. None of them, you know, they're okay in my books. They haven't done shit to me yet, so yeah. Ooh. But with that having said, yeah, that was something really funny that I just found out, so I wanted to put it in there, but let's continue with the video. So yeah, guys, we're gonna read another story. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. The only thing that I'm gonna say, the person who wrote this is pretty fucked up. I didn't read it, you're gonna... You guys are gonna see my first reaction, but the only way I know this is fucked up, she said, or he said, I, I think she, she said, I'm sorry guys that I wrote this. I don't know, I'm just fucked up. Okay, you guys just want to see the picture. I know you do. Actually, yeah. So this is gonna be fun. This has to be a girl. Let's do this. I just moved into a new neighborhood with my brother and are directly across the road from the Dolan family. Immediately starting the story of like, yo, okay, how can I put myself in their reach? Yeah, we just moved across the street. Good up, good up to you that you live in the hills. My brother, Chris, soon became friends with the hot twins. Okay, okay, this has been definitely been written by a girl and her brother becomes friends with the twins. Yo, I gotta stop hating actually, man. Yeah, I just gotta read the story. Yeah. I did never met them before, but find both Ethan and Grayson to be extremely attractive and funny guys. A few days later, I heard a knock at the door and answered and to see Dolan and Grayson standing there. <sighs> yeah, no, it's not happening. Hi. Grayson trails off at the sight of me. Hi, I responded. You guys looking for Chris? Playing it cool and acting as though I don't watch all of their YouTube views and stalk them on social media. They're not, and I invite them into the house. Grayson and my eyes meet and he lightly licks his lips as he walks in. Immediately, I can feel that there is a chemistry between us. Yeah, let's just continue. A few weeks of the twins hanging out with Chris, Grayson and I have exchanged numbers and there is a definite connection. So we start off, they just moved into the neighborhood. Then they come by because they were friends with Chris, with Chris, her older brother. Then they actually went to his house. When he wasn't there, he stepped in, licked his lips. Now he saw her. And now a few weeks have gone by and she has his number. Bruh. There are time jumps in this bitch like, whoa. One night, Grayson and Ethan are sleeping over in Chris' room and I go to the bathroom to have a shower. Bitch, shut the fuck up. No, this is not happening. Yo, for real. Those guys have an awesome house. They have 4.6 million subscribers as of today with this video. So no, they're not gonna sleep with the three of them in one room. No. I do my usual beauty routine. Washing my hair, shaving, etc. Yo. As I get out and reach for my towel, Grayson walks into the bathroom and bumps into me. My naked body dripping wet against his warm, shirtless chest. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. We look at each other's. Uh, we look at each other in the eye. We look, uh, whoa, okay. Okay, this, this sentence has just been written fucked up. We look at each other in the eyes for a second. He's extremely tall, so he's looking down at me and I'm looking up. Holy fuck, that. Oh, reverse. Oh, yeah, okay. We breathe heavily for a moment, not losing eye contact, and are about to make our way in for a kiss. Grayson looks down at my body and awkwardly laughs. <laughs> He looks back at my face, gently licks his lips and stutters. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were in here. He then exits and I can see the outline of a large boner in his pants. Lol. That night I decided to watch a horror movie. I'm alone in the basement on the couch and scream of fright when a scary scene comes on. <laughs> Fuck no. Bitch, you just begging for attention. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you begging for attention, talking shit. 
on Twitter too. Don't go watch a horror movie with those two guys in the house and not expect them to come if you scream the whole fucking house. Out, out loud, I don't know. A few minutes later, Chris, Ethan and Grayson all came down to see what was wrong. They all laugh and Grayson is staring at me once again with a cute smirk on his face. <laughs> the boys decide to join me for the rest of the movie and Grayson takes place next to me on the couch. While Chris and Ethan sit off the ledge of the side. Huh? While Chris and Ethan sit off the two side lounges. Oh wow, this bitch needs to learn how to write or type. It's fucked up. Also fucked up, my battery is dying. I see that because I flipped the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna change it now, sorry. God damn it, I'm smart. I already loaded this one up. The battery, I was talking about the battery. It's pretty cold, so we all have a blanket, except Grayson, and I have to share. <laughs> the movie starts to get scary, so I flinch and cover my eyes. Grayson chuckles <laughs> and wraps his big arms around me so that we are cuddling, pulling me close to his chest. We both fall asleep. What the fuck? Bitch, you were screaming out loud for this movie and now you're falling asleep. No dirty stuff though. I mean, like, I hope that this story gets dirty. This is just all love stuff, you know? That's how you know it has been written by a girl, so. Guys, I don't know if I want to do this, but if you want to write, if you want me to write a dirty fan fiction, it is not happening. I would go all out and yeah, it would, wouldn't be a fan fiction, it would be straight torture. Let's, wow, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do this over. A couple of hours later, I wake up to see that the movie has ended and Ethan and Chris has have left. And Ethan and Chris have left. It's just Grayson and I laying there. Bruh. Like for real, they left and they left you two there sleeping. I don't know how old you are, but still. I enjoy the moment burying my face into the chiseled stomach, but Grayson wakes up. Bitch, what the fuck you doing? He asks in a sexy, raspy, just woken up voice. Where are Ethan and Chris? I am your father, Jeff Fafal. Like if you got that one. I answer with a mumbling voice. They must have gone to bed. We both walk upstairs and see Ethan and Chris fall asleep. Fast asleep. I tell Grayson to have a good night and make my way over to the kitchen. As I open the fridge to grab water, I spun around to see Grayson standing there. He kisses me. Yo, nice, nice. Go in. His lips are his lips soft against mine, whispering quietly. You have no idea how long I wanted to do this for. I close the fridge doors behind me, and the kiss goes from gentle to passionate. Soon we are in a full makeout session, our tongues deep in each other's mouths. Nice, okay, we're getting it. I place my arms around Grayson's neck and his and his go from my hips to butt, squeezing it gently. Again, it's been written by a girl, so. We move around the room, knocking over several. Okay, yeah, we, okay, <laughs> yeah. They're moving over several objects while walking. We both laugh, looking at the coffee mug that had fallen by our clumsiness in our heated makeout. Is that all? The coffee mug? You said objects, not just coffee mug. Cups, maybe? No, just one. You lying, Let's go. Our lips moving in perfect sync. I wrap my legs around Jason and he lifts me up onto the bench. A couple more minutes go by and I end up grazing jeans to reveal his boxers. <sighs> he then takes his pants off, our body pressing against each other. We dry hump. I lift my hands above my head and Grayson removes my singlet. Oh, okay, yeah, singlet. I don't know, it's maybe some girl thing. Okay, but yeah. As it's nighttime, I'm not wearing a bra, so I'm left in my underwear and a bare boo. Yeah, okay. Grayson is in his boxers. Grayson's large package rubs against my thumb. We are both breathing extremely heavily. Grayson then pulls off my panties and I remove his boxers. I grab his penis with both hands and in fast motion go up and down. We, you know, I'm pumping. I then jump off the counter and kiss Grayson. At first on the lips and then on the neck and then continue to make my way downwards to his deck. Yeah, and I didn't make that up. She actually wrote that. I lick the tip, then suck it. I get as much in my mouth as possible. I suck his balls and he moans in pleasure, but bites his lips to avoid being loud and waking up someone. <laughs> Damn. He tucks up my hair and he thrusts his head back in enjoyment. Oh. Yeah, this girl. Yo, this makes up for the last story that we wrote, you know? The fucking Jacob Sartorius guy. Mother I look up at him and he whispers, Your turn. He pucks me up and puts me on the counter. I lie down and he sticks two fingers inside of me and starts to lick my pussy. Yo, I'm gonna get age restricted so bad. <laughs> totally worth it though. I try extremely hard not to squeal. Squeal now. Squeal! 
with delight as his tongue and his fingers get faster and faster while his other hand plays with my breast. I was so close to coming when Grayson stops and removes his fingers. I sit up on the countertop. Yo, this bitch a rapper now. Damn. I sit up on the countertop. Damn. Grayson puts on a condom. Then he places his dick inside of me. We are both facing each other, so to continue to make out while thrusting and thrusting. So, this girl's crazy. Grayson lets out a quiet but deep moan and I let out a higher one. I whisper into his ears. This feels so good. Go faster. Again, I didn't make this up. This girl's crazy. I mean, yo. Nice. We are breathing heavily and have to place our hand on each other's mouths so that we don't scream. Damn. Instead of, you know, knowing that they screamed aloud, they place the hand on each other's mouths. Why not? <laughs> Nice one. He rubs my boobs with his hands. Come on, baby, come for me. He demands, thrusting in and out faster and rougher. Damn. You know, from the guy's perspective, you know, I don't know if that's something you would say to a girl, but this was written by a girl, so. Damn, this is crazy. I reply, only if you do this. Yo! Bruh. <sighs> Let's continue. I reply, only if you do the same. And move my vagina in circular motion on his hard cock. Yo. Okay, I'm, I said I was gonna get age restricted and that this story made up for the other one, but I'm gonna say both again. I'm gonna get fucking age restricted. This story is making up for the last story that we wrote, so yeah. Grayson reaches his climax first and lets out a moan, but he continues to fuck me anyway so that I can come. Okay, yeah. Not happening, girl. <laughs> Not happening, it's still the way around, or not at all. Damn, I may look like an asshole right now, and maybe this ruined my career, or my possible coming career. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about anything. Fuck everyone and fuck everything. I'm feeling pretty good about myself right now, and I say fuck it all. I don't give a fuck. No, the fight, the logic. I mean, if you actually go to the logic, the, the male orgasm is needed. It is needed to, you know, shoot out the you know, okay, I said dick, come and shoot out the male sperm. If he doesn't come, the man, then there's no sperm. Maybe a bit of, you know, pre-cum, but that's it. The female can still get pregnant, but she doesn't have to come. So, yeah. Sorry, girls. I tilt my head back and squeal as I feel a warm sensation. Damn. And the line. I, I do gotta say, yo. Crazy girl. I actually picked like this story because I expected from a, the twins, you know, to like both go on her. But yeah, that's like really next level darkness. So maybe I'm gonna find one of those. But yeah, since I don't read them before, I I, I don't know. So guys, she wrote like a little more, one more paragraph to end this. So let's see what she said. I hope you guys enjoy. This is my first fanfic ever. And I hope to be writing more. I know it's really, really dirty, but oh well. So guys this was my second episode of reading dirty fan fiction it smashed it smashed it smashed fucking hard this was awesome i hope you guys loved it i love doing this yeah if you stay to the end thank you so much um i love you already don't even know your name you know my so comment your name in the comments down below see you some other time some mo i don't know oh so let's go oh <laughs> oh that was so stupid peace out